Welcome to the Hard Dollar Self Paced Training Master Resource Rates Lesson. This lesson will provide you with a basic overview of setting up the master resource rates in the library. We will cover the following tabs in this lesson, labor and construction equipment. When new job folders are created, you will have the ability to specify the master resource rates that you want to have copied into the new job. The master resource rate register labor form is used to maintain labor resource charge rates. It is used to create or modify the rate charged for the employment of an individual labor resource. Each record or row in the register represents a single labor resource, for example, common labor class 1, and consists of a code, description, and a set of hourly rate elements that together establish the value of the charge rate, for example, $22 per hour. Each record can be further described by assigning a resource file name, geographic area, wage zone, category, and up to three tags. To create a new master labor resource, click on the small green burst located toward the top left corner of the resource register. Now we will enter a code and description for our new labor resource. We will add a carpenter foreman with a code of LC3. Now we will add information to the setup tab for the labor resource. The setup information contains the resource file, geographic, and other tags that will allow us to group and sort the resources in the register. A default quantity also can be set at the bottom of the tab. This will establish how many of the resource will be set by default whenever the resource is selected. We will enter information for the resource file, geographic area, wage zone, organizational category, and default quantity in our example. Next, we will move to the Charge Rate tab. This is where we will establish and categorize the cost for this new labor resource. First, we will click on the Scale 1 tab and expand the Labor Cost category. We will enter the base labor rate for this new labor resource. In our example, the base rate for Scale 1 is $18.50 per hour. Next, we will go to the Base Wage Factors for Overtime section on the same tab and check the box. This will allow us to enter the Base Wage Factors for Scale 2 and 3 and base their value on that of Scale 1. In our example, we will set the Scale 2 factor at 1.5 and Scale 3 factor at 2. Notice that the labor base for Scale 2 is 1.5 times that of the base for Scale 1. And Scale 3 is 2 times that of the base for Scale 1. Now we will go to the All Scales tab to add some burden to this new labor resource. We will do this from the All Scales tab since the same burden amount per hour or percentages will be applied to all three rates. We could also set up the burden on individual tabs if we desired. First, we will expand the Labor Burden Cost category. Then expand the Labor Fringes Cost category. We will enter $0.50 cents per hour for pension and health and welfare. Then we will collapse the Labor Fringes category. Next, we will expand the Labor Taxes Cost category. This time, we will enter percentages rather than amounts. We will enter 7.6% for FICA, 0.8% for FUDA, and 4% for SUDA. Now, we will review each of the labor scales to see the effect of the burden on each. First, we will go to Scale 3. Notice that the percentages appear with the appropriate dollar amounts based on the labor base. Then scale 2. Then scale 1. Now we will click OK to close the labor rate record. This section will demonstrate how to create a new construction equipment master resource in the library. When new job folders are created, you will have the ability to specify the master resource rates that you want to have copied into the new job. 
The Master Resource Rate Register construction equipment form is used to create or modify the rate charge for the employment of an individual construction equipment resource of a certain class. Each record represents a single class of equipment, for example pickup truck, and consists of a code, description, and a set of hourly rate elements that together value the rate, for example $20 per hour. To create a new construction equipment resource, click on the small green burst located toward the top left corner of the resource register. Now we will enter a code and description for our new construction equipment resource. We will add a D6 dozer with a code of ED6. Now we will add information to the setup tab for the construction equipment resource. The setup information contains the resource file, geographic, and other tags that will allow us to group and sort the resources in the register. A default quantity can also be set at the bottom of the setup tab. This will establish how many of the resource will be set by default whenever the resource is selected. We will enter information for the resource file, organizational category, and default quantity. Next, we will move to the Charge Rate tab. This is where we will establish and categorize the cost for this new construction equipment resource. First, we will expand the Owned Equipment Cost category. Then, we will expand the OE Ownership Cost category. We will enter $40 at the top of the OE Ownership Cost category. Now we will collapse the OE Ownership Cost category. Next, we will expand the OE Operation Cost category. Next, we will set the fuel type under the Optional Assignment section on the right side of the screen. The fuel types that appear in the drop-down were established in the Master Job Properties form on the Fuel Cost tab. Once a fuel type is selected from the list, the associated cost will be multiplied by the consumption rate to come up with an hourly cost for fuel. Next, we'll enter a consumption rate of 7 gallons per hour. Notice that our OE fuel cost category has been calculated at $30.45 per hour based on the fuel type and consumption rate that was entered. When our fuel cost changes, all we will need to do is update the cost and the job properties and hourly charge rate for the fuel will automatically be updated to reflect that change. Next, we will enter $20 in the undefined OE operation cost category. Notice that the $20 was rolled up into the overall owned equipment category, as well as the total category. Next, click OK to close the construction equipment record. Congratulations, you have just completed the lesson. This lesson covered the following topics, setting up master resource rates in the library for labor and construction equipment.